in this module we continue how endocentric or asymmetric views are promoted by culture and this time we will see it through dressing i would like to introduce the topic with the help of a task so that i may involve you in thinking about it observe the dress styles of males and females in your college if you are in a co-ed college workplace if you are at some place in some office where people of both sexes work our media definitely both sexes are involved now can girls wear boys dress like coats and jeans second question can boys wear dress of girls such as skirts is there any asymmetry and if yes why if no why which factors do affect which factors do affect or determine asymmetry this would be the bottom line of this task another task observe the hairstyles of boys and girls in your college or university or workplace or media big media because we are very much attached with media these days so uh, that is almost a mirror of our society our social activities so that's why i have involved in these uh, tasks media is there any restriction on these hair styles who faces more restrictions in adopting different hair styles and why another task is do you think that asymmetry applies to specific choices look i have talked about dress so there is choice of dress is that gender specific is dress of girls different from boys second matter of hair styles is the styles of girls different from hair styles of boys so is this asymmetry relates with individual or uh, personal choices this question would tell you what do we mean by asymmetry 